Okay, so I bought these at the CU right across the street from me. When I say right across the street, I literally mean right across the street from me. So when people are watching these videos and you hear me say I bought it right across the street or I bought it right downstairs, that's where I bought it. Um, I honestly think a lot of the videos where people go inside of a grocery store or a convenience store and just show you around, I honestly feel like those are pretty boring. But if you want me to do one of those, I don't care. I'll, I'm willing to do it. And I understand if you're not from this area and you see a convenience store from this area, from South Korea, then you might think it's interesting, you might think it's fun. But for me, it seems like maybe it's boring. I don't know. I just, I don't want to do a video and have people thinking, why the hell do you do this? Like, there's no point in this. Yeah, it's a convenience store. It's a grocery store. But even as I'm saying that, I'll probably, I'll probably do one or two in the future. Probably like different kinds of grocery stores, different kinds of convenience stores. Because at some point I'll probably do a video where I buy every single different kind of beer, like Korean beer or every single different kind of Korean liquor, or something along those lines, like every single different kind of soju from one specific convenience store, it's just to show what they have there, and do a taste test of each one at the same time, instead of having a video for like two or three of them, and then just do like a shot of one, give a quick response about it. Okay, well when I bought these, the girl at CU was saying, oh, mashi soyo. Delicious. So mashi soyo means delicious, but she was saying these are really good. She's like, oh, makju. So we'll see how it is. Um, so makju is beer in Korean. I don't know why she said makju for these and not for this one. Maybe she was saying makju because if you look at it, look like, looks like this one has peach, a peach on the front and it's all cutesy and whatever. It's only 3% alcohol. This one has an apple on it. It's all cutesy. This one's only 3% alcohol. And then this one has kas on it. And it says beer. And maybe she just assumed I knew this one was beer. Maybe she didn't know whether or not I knew these were beer. Which... To tell you the truth, I wasn't 100% sure, but they were in the beer section, and I figured they were beer. The thing is, I was I figured they were either beer or hard seltzer. So I, I could see them being hard seltzer. I always clean the top of the can just a little bit with my shirt. It's not going to do a lot, but it's better than nothing. Remember, these are both 3% alcohol. This one has the apple on it. It's good. It tastes like... Oh, it tastes like an apple drink. Like, as soon as it hit my tongue, I was thinking it tasted like an apple drink that I've had in the U.S. Uh, maybe... Actually, it kind of tastes like uh, alcohol, apple alcohol that I've had in the U.S. as well. Maybe more like the apple alcohol. You know how when you get like liquor or whiskey or something flavored like apple or strawberries or whatever, you have to figure out if it's like a good natural apple flavor or if it's a really artificial one or... Um, or what, it's hard to describe sometimes. This one, technically I'd say it's a little bit more of an artificial apple flavor. But as I'm saying that, I don't want to say that because we're in Korea, so it could be, the flavor could be based off of a different kind of apple that I'm not used to. So this could be a very natural apple flavor. I'm just not used to eating that specific apple whole. 
So maybe I've had other drinks like that as well, other apple flavored drinks, where it was based off of a apple in a different country, and I'm just not used to eating that apple. Apples in the U.S. There's a lot of different apples, and I've basically had every kind of apple that they grow in the U.S. I've had most of the apples that they sell in the U.S., but I'm not going to say I've had every kind of apple that they sell in the entire United States, because I haven't lived long-term in a lot of different states. So this one looks like it has peach. Oh, it, see, this says peach, peach soda. It says peach soda. When she said Macju, I was like, Okay, well, I guess it's beer. Um, it says e sul tuk tuk e sul tuk 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 e sul. I think it's tuk tuk e sul tuk tuk. Some of the writing's kind of hard to read. Um. Yun Hali Bala oh, I can't it's hard to read. Some of it's like that writing that's kinda of like calligraphy, so it's kinda of hard to read. So this one says peach soda. Tastes like peach, tastes like peach soda. Um this one I could see calling it apple soda. Doesn't say that in English anywhere. This one says in English Peach soda. They're both the same alcohol content. They are both a little bit different. But. And they don't have the same writing on them. Well, yeah. Yeah, they have different writing on them. Tastes like peach. It's like a tastes like a soda peach. I think it's good. <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if it's a natural flavor, natural peach flavor. I think it kind of is, but it's definitely hard to tell. Um. I think both of these are really good. This one maybe tastes the hair better. Well, word that different. This one. Yeah, this one has a weird flavor to it. This one tastes more unnatural, like maybe like a mixture of candy apples, alcohol, but it's good. It's good, but it's kind of a weird flavor. This one's a little bit more natural flavor. Um, this one's also a little bit lighter tasting. This one's a little richer, heavier tasting. They're both 3% alcohol. They're both very easy to drink. They both taste good, but I think this one's a little better. And I've, ha I've had other peach flavored alcohols that I've done reviews on. And I've said it before, I'm not a huge peach flavored person. Like, I'm not a huge fan of things that are flavored like peach. Peaches. Oh, a lot of carbonation from these two. I'm almost finished with both of them. Might as well finish both of them. But yeah. I mean, I obviously don't hate peach because I've been drinking this whole thing pretty fast. Um, this one. I don't know. This one has a weird flavor. It doesn't taste like apple to me anymore. At first, it did kind of taste like apple, but then an artificial apple. I don't, I don't know if it's because I kind of have some of this peach flavor stuck in my mouth now. Okay, uh, 
I was going to crush the can. I've been keeping them just so I can remember what I all bought so far. And ooh, it smells a little skunky. Got my new Belgium bottle opener from Colorado. Okay, Kass. Kass is a cheap, light beer in Korea. It's pretty easy to drink. It's cheap, easy, easy to find. It's everywhere. Bars, restaurants, convenience stores, grocery stores, gas stations, bus stops, all over the place. And bus stops as in like the bus rest stops in Korea. This is also a Korean beer you could find in other countries. Uh, stuff like this. I'm pretty sure this is Korean. Everything's written in Korean. I'm not sure. Korean style everything. Well, this character could be Japanese or Korean. Could be one of the two. It's probably one of the two Japanese or Korean. It's probably not Chinese. But... Everything's written in Korean, other than peach soda, so I'm not sure, and I don't want to say for sure. Oh, it's, I didn't say before, but this is 355 milliliters. This is 355 milliliters, and it says the percentage for how much is in it. Like, um, it's three percent alcohol, but then it says how much of it is natural juice, how much of it is whatever else. And it doesn't say in English what the percentage is for. This one says three different percentages, alcohol, and then one of them, I'm assuming it's juice. Other one might be water or other natural flavors, which natural doesn't actually mean that ingredients are natural. It just means it tastes like something that's natural. So natural doesn't mean it's healthy. Okay, this one doesn't have the... Percentage is broken down as well. <laughs> Trying to make it so you can hear that they're empty. <laughs> so I was going to crush them, but I didn't want to do that. And it sucks like having those two fruity drinks and then I go to a cast and as soon as I open the cast right away I can tell it was skunky. People that don't know what skunky is, skunky means like the beer must have been cold then it get hot maybe multiple times, maybe only once or twice. Sometimes it only takes once or twice for it to go from like cold to hot and then back to cold. That can fuck up a beer really easily so sometimes you just need to let air out yeah that tastes pretty bad um, it might be because I was just drinking those fruity drinks but I'm not sure I'm gonna grab a glass and pour it in a glass so I can see if it's just the wrong way to drink it So I grabbed my new Glarus glass. I actually got this new Glarus glass at the new Glarus factory in Wisconsin. So I'm originally from Wisconsin. New Glarus is a beer from Wisconsin. This is the new Glarus Sunset Wheat label on this glass. It's a pretty nice glass with a gold rim around it. Sometimes beer tastes better in a pint. 
or a glass or whatever. This one doesn't foam up as much. But it is a nice glass. I mean, I, this is actually a present for one of my friends here in Korea. This is his favorite beer. The New Glares. Sorry. Did I say New Glares? I meant uh, Liney Kugels. I said New Glares, didn't I? Liney Kugels Sunset Wheat. The Lenny Kugel Sunset Weed is from Wisconsin. New Glarus is a different beer from Wisconsin. New Glarus is a beer you can only buy in Wisconsin. The main reason why they do that is because of tax purposes. They don't need to pay as much tax because they're not... Their product isn't available to buy throughout the entire country. So they're just paying state tax instead of national... Instead of federal... Well, I mean, I'm... They still have to pay federal, but I don't know. Something with taxes. They're saving money on taxes somehow. Okay, definitely tastes a lot better now. It might be a combination of pouring into this glass, which, look at that. I almost poured the entire bottle in there. That's crazy. I guess this glass is a little bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was a pint. I mean, this, this is a pint, but they're just different shapes. I'm pretty sure they're both a pint. It's just this one's a different shape. This, I don't know. This is 640 milliliters, so it's not as big as I was thinking. But, yeah, this cost is decent. Well, let me reword that. It's decent for a light beer, a cheap light beer. So this is very cheap. This is like two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents for a pretty good sized beer. These, actually, I'll do this. These were both about two dollars. About two dollars. Two dollars U.S. This one was about two fifty U.S. Technically, these were both a little bit under two dollars. This one was a little bit under two fifty. So these are about two thousand one. This was about two thousand five hundred one, and one American dollar is worth about one thousand one hundred one or one thousand two hundred one. It changes all the time, so it's hard to say. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about any of these, if you have something else you want me to try, let me know. I'll be trying to find some more random stuff to taste test and do a video on. And um, I have a lot of these right now. I need to actually edit and put them online so people can see them. I have some of them online right now, but definitely not all of them. Okay, have a good night.